I offer personal readings same day for $33 and next day for $17. Check the description box below for details of how to book and subscribe to my bonus tarot channel at Val444Tarot and my vlog channel at Val Smib. Thank you. Hi Sagittarius, welcome to my channel and thank you for being here and for tuning in. I'm Valencia with Val. 343 Tarot, and we're just going to jump right in here, Sagittarius, and see what's going on with who you're dealing with, what are their true thoughts and feelings and intentions towards you. Now, this is for Sagittarius who are single, so of course, it's not going to resonate with all of you, but for more readings after this, please go ahead and check out my husband's tarot channel at Sidekick Tarot. Thank you. Okay, Sagittarius, so you could be dealing with, um, so this is someone here that is, uh, who? Well, you could be in a, in a contract with them in a way where they control you somehow. Or number two, this is a person who's in a marriage or relationship. I get like married man energy who is not happy in their marriage or relationship and not faithful or committed to that but then again maybe are they having an affair with you i don't know do they want to be with you i have no clue they just kind of show that they also kind of show that they do something of maybe spiritual or religious you know esoteric paranormal background but they don't really care for you or people or society or community like they don't really give a crap you know they just care about taking in more more money more of this more of that I'm the Messiah complex, you know what I mean? I don't know. I don't worry, Sagittarius. This is who you're dealing with. Let's see more here. What's going on? For some of you, it could be dysfunctional parental figures. Either or. So it looks like whatever that is, they're still choosing to kind of approach, you know, work work little by little, day by day, hard towards you or with their own stuff of finances. Okay, maybe they're in love with you. Maybe they have love for you. Maybe they want to be with you, but they're still dealing, you know, obviously in a relationship with someone else. Or they're looking for a new beginning of some sort, you know, a new beginning. Mm, I'm going to say maybe they're curious about you, okay? They have a crush on you. They like you. They love you. They have fun with you. Okay, and that flipped immediately. Interesting. So, don't know what happened there. Now they're really aggressive and frustrated and pissed off. Like, they don't they don't know what's going on. I don't know what happened here. Now they're really upset with you. They're arguing with you unless they're just having issues. Like I said, if they're, if they're in a relationship or a marriage, it makes sense that they're having their own problems with that. But they were working on, you know, building something for themselves or with you or towards you. They found, they feel like they found something or they're, you know, in love with you and like you or have fun with you, have a crush on you. And then they still turn out very irritated and aggressive and upset and, you know, in an argument or just fighting, you know, in a confusing, frustrated kind of energy here. Like I said, it could be someone that you are in a contract with either or I don't know here. Okay, but it looks like they seem to feel emotionally good and successful and happy getting in that aggressive energy and being that way towards you. So they feel successful. They feel like they're heading towards success. Just kidding. Guess not. Now they're, it didn't work. I didn't think it was going to. But um, now they're deeply heartbroken and annoyed and upset and pissed off, feeling betrayed, but they're hanging on to so much pain on purpose. They're not letting go. So they're not dropping anything with you, like letting leaving you alone. And they're not, if they are in a relationship or marriage, they need to get out of that and deal with their problems and they're not. So either or, it's like they're just choosing to walk around heartbroken and in pain and going through all these troubles and traumas and issues. Like I said, you know, for some of you, this could be family members. So either or here. Okay, and now they realize they should just end this and something is done now. They just want to let this go and be done. Ooh. 
So maybe they're going to, yeah, drop it with you and go fix their marriage or relationship because this is definitely someone in a dysfunctional marriage or relationship. For some of you, this is dysfunctional family members. But this person is most definitely in their own situationship and maybe they want to be with you and that's why there's problems, right? So that makes sense too. Either or, they're still choosing to stay in that though. It's a mess. Okay, but it seems to make them happy and passionate unless they want a new chapter with you. Maybe they have passion towards you and that's why they know, you know, there's a mess with who they're dealing with, especially, like I said, if this is someone who's in a relationship. There's a new beginning there, you know, that they want with you that they're creating for themselves. Okay, and so that new beginning, what happened? Did they not get what they wanted out of you or out of something here? It's like now they're irritated. Once again, they've gone cold. They don't believe in any of this. It's kind of like, um, they're not trustworthy, obviously. Um, so, but they're not trusting themselves and they're kind of just being in a very cold, aggressive kind of energy here with no faith or belief system. But it looks like maybe they do talk to you or they end up going and saying something or doing something. Um, they move really quickly. They kind of think of something off, you know, off the top of their head of what to do or what to say. And it looks like in their mind, they're not going to emotionally disconnect and walk away from you. And they're saying they're comfortable with being that way and doing that. They're not going to leave you alone. Okay. Okay, so it makes sense if you guys are in, unfortunately, a very, well, messed up contract, more so messed up on your end, but, you know, than it is for them here. They know what they were doing by scamming you, you know what I mean? And just kind of like putting you in a real, in a bind. If it's not that, this person gets a kick out of being of serious injustice, lying, scamming, cheating, taking, cheating a system, getting, doing something illegally, something unfair, um... And they want to be this way towards you. They want to continue to be like this with you and towards you. Yep. And they're proudly saying it's for the sake of their own money, their own career path, their own wealth, their own abundance and all of that. That's their plan and that's what they're going to keep doing here. Yeah, they're going to keep lying to themselves and lying to you and lying to other people. This is just a big fat liar. This is one that just, yeah, they literally lie for the sake of ideas, literally for ideas. So they're scamming and lying for, I don't know, projects, hobbies, ideas of some sort. This is more so starting to turn businessy and like someone in the workplace, okay? I don't know if they collab with you or work with you. It's just a coworker. I don't know, but it's kind of like they like to do that. Yep, they're saying that they're not afraid. This is who they are. This is how they like to be. They're not scared of whatever's going on here. That's their journey. That's their leap of faith. And they're going to just stay this way and be toxic and karmic here towards you, unfortunately. So you could be dealing with a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And that's about it. So happy. Thank you. Bye.